Hey, all right, folks. How's everybody doing this morning? And welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And this morning, I am someplace that I've never been before. I'm out here at the uh, Frozen Camp Wildlife Management Area, just outside Ripley, West Virginia. I'm about 10, 12, 13 miles outside of Ripley, between Ripley and Spencer. And uh, I've never been here before, man. I'm really excited about this. It looks really good. Um, it's 10 after 6 right now, getting ready to make my first cast. It's uh, 67 degrees out here, air temperature. It's pretty humid. Getting ready to get a beautiful sunrise. Um, we have 79 degree water temperature at this time of the morning. So it could be a little tough. We're going to start out with some top water. Got a loon colored uh, whopper plopper tied on. But I think I'm going to take a page out of my turkey run playbook from Saturday and start with this buzz bait. See if we can get anything going on it. I love fishing buzz baits. There we go. Got one. Little guy. Not much, but we're on the board for this morning. Out here at the Frozen Camp Wildlife Management Area. Well, look how dark he is. These bass in clear water are really dark. Got him on the Strike King buzz bait. So we're on the board this morning. That's two bites in the first 10 minutes. Let's see how long he is real quick here. Alright. Probably not 10 inches long. No, he's ten and a half. All right, we'll put this one back. See if they'll get bigger. All right, there he goes back.
There we go. It's not very big, but it's another fish. Yeah, in here, there's number two this morning, this time on jerk bait. And I hope they start getting bigger because they're getting smaller. Natural shad colored Strike King, JVD, 100 jerk bait. Got the Mustad, triple grip, triple grip KVD hooks on it. Ew. Eight inches. Wow. Yeah, I hope they start getting bigger. There we go. About time I got another one. If it doesn't get off. Get in here. Got one on a spinner bait now, folks. It clouded up. And so I broke out this old school Strike King spinner bait. One of the old old half ounce strike king 38 specials with the diamond blades it's got an indiana and a colorado and then i put that bluegill skirt on it and i got a fish number three for the day i just wish they'd start getting bigger Eleven and a quarter, the biggest one so far. <sighs> yeah, 
There we go. All right, well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video now from out here at uh, the Frozen Camp Wildlife Management Area. Um, I fished from 6 o'clock this morning until 1, about 1 o'clock this afternoon. And, man, I only caught three fish. Uh, I wanted to come somewhere that I hadn't been before. I mean, <laughs> I should have went back to Turkey Run where I caught them three or four pounders a couple days ago. But uh, I want to try somewhere different, somewhere I've never been because I like to do that. And... I'd never been here before, but I was hoping I'd catch some at least catch some keepers, but it didn't happen. But I mean, I did at least catch three small bass, so I didn't get skunked. Uh, the first one I caught this morning was on this 3 8 ounce uh, Strike King Bleeding Elite Buzz Bait, uh, black and red. I got it outfitted with a uh, Strike King Tour Grade trailer hook, and. Uh, Good thing I did because it was a trailer hook that got him. He never touched the main hook. Um, had a couple other bites on the buzz bait, but they didn't hook up. Uh, I was fishing this buzz bait on my Lose Xfinity Pro rod. It's a seven foot four heavy action with an extra fast tip. And I got it paired with a Lose uh, Mark Rose reel. It's a 7.1 to one gear ratio. And I got it spooled with 20 pound test vicious fluorocarbon. And then the second fish I caught was on a jerk bait. Um, it's on this um, natural shad colored uh, Strike King KBD J100 jerk bait. Uh, I've got it uh, upgraded the hooks on it with um, the Mustad KBD Elite trebles and uh, caught a little, I think it was maybe nine inch bass on this. And that was it. Uh, I was fishing this jerk bait on my lose carbon blue gt combo it's six foot eight medium action with a fast hip i have it spooled with a 20 pound test a low vis green vicious braid spliced to about seven or eight feet of a 10 pound test vicious fluorocarbon and the last fish i caught was on an old school strike king spinnerbait this is one of the, one of the old half ounce 38 specials i've had this since probably high school uh, of course, the original skirt, living rubber skirt, dry rotted off a long time ago. So I put this bluegill colored skirt on it. And uh, this spinnerbait caught me my biggest fish of the day, if you can call it big, 11 and a quarter inches. Um, had a couple other bites, including I had a good one take a swipe at it, but for whatever reason, uh, it missed the hook. It blew up on it good because I was fishing it just below the surface where it makes a wake. And uh, but I was fishing this spinnerbait on my uh, Lose Xfinity Pro Rod, seven foot medium heavy action with a fast tip. Got it spooled, or paired, I should say, paired with a Lose Classic Speed Spool Reel. It's a uh, 7.5 to one, yeah, gear ratio. And I got it spooled with 17 pound test vicious fluorocarbon. So that was my day. I mean, at least I didn't get skunked, but it was kind of cool fishing somewhere I'd never been before um, got to see some good wildlife got some good fitted 
good video footage, I should say, of uh, some a green heron, a couple great blue herons, a squirrel playing around in a tree, and so it was a good day. I mean, at least I was off work today and getting paid. So uh, anyhow, I know them three little fish don't make for much of a video, but uh, I'd appreciate it if you could give give this a like. Um, subscribe to my channel if you've not already and uh give me a thumbs up there and uh, leave me a comment and um, appreciate everybody watching and i'll be out trying to make another video as soon as i can and i uh, really appreciate everybody watching